As part of this shouldering the load series, I want to talk about some of the ways to carry extra ammo. You know, everybody is really in love with Molly, this and that, and chest rigs, and, and all these, these things for carrying the combat load of ammo. But if you were going into adverse conditions, you would want to carry more than just a combat load, or at least have that available to you and part of the uh, three-tier system. Your main pack needs to carry extra ammo because face it, we're not in a military organization anymore and we don't have resupply. And even, even the military very often goes into uh, to situations where they need to carry their own resupply. And so when you can, when you're, when you're carrying packs and stuff like that, it, it behooves you to be able to carry more ammo. And there's different ways of doing it. One I want to look at is this thing here. This is part of the uh, the Molly 2 Ruck system. I uh, don't know how much it gets used, but when I found it, I, I really liked it. I first, I first noticed these little um, male buttons in the combat pack, and I didn't know what they were for, so I downloaded the PDF uh, on the Molly Rucksack system. And I discovered that I should have had one of these. So I went looking for it, and it took me a while to find one. But this is just, uh, they call it a bandolier, I think. But it'll hold six magazines, and it's pretty tight. Now, this is not high-speed, low-drag. This is not made to work off of, necessarily. But it does come with a strap that you can throw this over your shoulder. And I've actually added this secondary strap that in a pinch you could turn this into a um, poor man's chest rig. But as I said, it'll hold six magazines and that's pretty good resupply right there. Snaps via these two snaps right here into the Claymore pouch of both the main rucksack Gen 1 and the combat pack. Another idea for carrying extra ammo it goes back to my old favorite, the GP Molly pouch or canteen pouch. And these things are made, uh, you know, they'll hold all kind of stuff, but one of the things they're made to hold is five magazines. See there? And they hold five magazines good. And I've got a mixture of both metal and, and uh, the newer plastic magazines here, but holds them great. Uh, it's probably not how you want to want to carry your, your first tier ammo, but Throwing this on a pack or in a pack, why not? That's great. That's wonderful. I love this little pouch. I don't think you can have enough of these. And you got these little side pockets. Throw in a speed loader. Just for fun, I thought I'd show you that you can get four of the Ruger BMX 25 magazines for the 1022 in there also. So just when they say general utility this pouch is general utility now this is something I found and uh, I think I paid $2.99 for it it looks like it's never been used it looks very much like the demo kit that we used to get issued when I was in except for that demo kit came in a, a light canvas well this is a very light nylon and I'm mean, very light and it, it has no molly to it and it has no marking so I can't really tell you what it was for although it looks just like the old demo kit it um, has a main pouch has these these four tie marks like I said no molly to it but it has these four ties uh, at each corner which is very World War II ish if you ask me and um, it has the main pouch, and then it has two side pouches, very similar to the old demo kit. And then it has this little bitty pouch up front here. As I said, no marking, so I really don't know what it's for. It comes with a really nice shoulder strap. Now, this is what I've done with it. I've turned it into a possible ammo resupply. And here's how I've done this. 
These are some cardboard boxes, some of these wax cardboard boxes that machine gun ammo comes in. And back when I was still working for the Air Force as a police officer, uh, we'd go to the range and, you know, shoot the, the weapons. And, you know, I would just grab, I'd grab everything. So I grabbed these, these pouches and I thought, well, I'm going to use them for something one day. So I, I grabbed six or eight of them. And sure enough, my 223 bandoliers fit perfect in here. So perfect that they're hard to get out. So there's a 223 bandolier. Fits perfect in that little box, which the box gives it shape and form. So I can get what I call a battle pack of ammo into these two cardboard boxes and then into this soft pouch. And I can strap that to a pack or I can sling that over my shoulder. I could put it in a pack, but either way, I'm carrying 240 rounds, a battle pack uh, of extra ammo, and I like that a lot. Another thing I like about it is if I'm not using it, it is very lightweight nylon. You can just wad it up and toss it in a pocket or in the bottom of your, your uh, pack, and it's just there if you need it, but it really doesn't take up much space or weight. So there you go. There's three ways of carrying extra ammo as part of your uh, pack system.